Well, in Isaiah 66, 22 to 24, concerning the new heavens and the new earth, which I shall make, saith the Lord, they shall remain before me, so shall your seed and your name remain. It shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come and worship before me on the new earth. They shall go and look upon the carcasses of the men that transgressed against me, for their worms shall not die, their fire shall not be quenched, they shall be in abhorring unto all flesh. The purpose is to do away with sin, whatever rebel where he belongs, and to make them as an everlasting monument of God's wrath on sin. And you resurrected people will be reigning over those natural people, and you will be an everlasting monument of God's grace. That's the idea of both things. So that you behave yourself and do what's right if you want the eternal program that's worthwhile. If not, then you'll have to take the other one. Well, Christians are not supposed to have any devils in them. Certainly not. We read in 1 John 5, 18, Whosoever is born of God sinneth not, but he is begotten of God, keepeth himself, and that wicked one toucheth him not. The born again one. Born again one. So you Christians, you quit going around trying to cast devils out of each other. <laughs> Get down on your knees and pray through. Amen. Like we used to tell them to do it. You don't have to take a little, little sack around. You got a devil in you. Put him in here. Act like a fool. You don't have to do that. Simply that you get right with God. Sinners are supposed to repent. That devil will go when you get rid of the devil. The old man will go when you get rid of the devil. And the demons will go when you get rid of the devil. See? So he sinneth not, keepeth himself, that wicked one toucheth him not. In the fourth chapter of Ephesians, verse 27, give no place to the devil when you do get born again. And James 4 and 2 Peter 5, 5 tells us plainly, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, resist the devil, and he will flee from you, and all that. So you Christians have no right going around the country, I must have a devil in me. You just have to ask God to forgive you if you've been committing any sin, and God will do it. And that reminds me right now, let's all close our eyes.